Hey comic fans, I am back this week to share with you what I picked up on New Comic Book Day. I'll be back in five. Alright, so we're going to start off with Marvel. only picked up two books from Marvel this week, but I think both were definitely worth a read. First off, we've got The Immortal Hulk number 34. We've got the leader in here. It's a story about him. Definitely worth a read. If you haven't jumped on this yet, this is a good starting point. No, it's not number one, but starts a new arc. Definitely worth a pickup. Next up, we've got Thor number five. Solicitation says Thor has to become something he's never been. Um, again, another great read. Donny Cates is killing it. Um, if you can jump on this book, jump on it. It's only up to issue five, so hopefully you can find one through four also, but this book is really hot right now. Um, two is selling for like 20 bucks. One is probably a little bit above cover, and five is actually really on fire now too, so if you can find this for cover, definitely grab one. We're gonna switch up to the indies now. We've got That Texas Blood. This is a good Western crime story. Uh, this is cover B. I didn't get cover A, I got cover B because I thought cover B was pretty dope. And um, yeah, definitely worth a read again. Crime Western, why not? Next up, we've got Once in Future, number eight. Kieran Gillen is killing it. Um, Dan Mora on the cover and on the interiors. Awesome artwork, definitely worth a read. And we have the introduction of a new character in this one. So again, pick this one up. Spawn number 307. Um, this may not be the time to jump on this series. It may not be for everybody. If you're a Spawn fan, go ahead and pick it up. We've got Philip Tan doing the art now. So Philip Tan, love Philip Tan's artwork. But um, this may not be for everybody. Next up, we've got Justice League number 47. Robert Venditti was uh, doing the, uh, the story for a little bit, but he's left to go do something else. So really good read obviously this is the end of his arc we'll see where the justice league goes from here but uh yeah he was sowing a lot of uh discontent between the justice league and this book he had a little um battle for leadership between green lantern and batman so uh if you want to want to read something that goes into character development team development give it a shot Next up is Batman Beyond number 44. A lot of little loose ends going on in this book that eventually come to a head. Um, definitely worth a read. Probably the best place this book has gone. Um, artwork is really awesome. Story is a little simple, but there's a lot of, like I said, little little arcs going on. And um, yeah, definitely worth a read. Again, it's action packed, uh, quick paced, and art. the art is beautiful. Lastly, we've got Batman number 93. We've got the reveal of the designer, who he is. Um, and we've got this leading up to the Joker War. So, again, awesome book. I picked up both uh, I picked up both covers A and I picked up cover B, Francis, uh, Francisco Matina cover. So, uh, yeah, really good. A lot of shops actually didn't get the 1 in 25 uh, cover this week. So next week they're supposed to get it. So... If you're looking for that, be on the lookout. Your store should be getting them uh, next week. So that's what I picked up this week, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Feel free to share with me in the comments what you picked up. You know, if you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, uh, share, comment again. Um, if you want me to go in depth on any of these books, just ask, and uh, I'll do that for you. Anyway, peace. Do what you do.